guys, good morning. We had some really hard rains last night. Uh, today is uh, Wednesday, and you can see we got quite a bit of rain. Uh, water all out across there. This went down some since early this morning. Uh, it was way up into here this morning. It's still running, so uh, we're gonna go back and check the river. It shouldn't be up too much yet. I got my boys here with me. And my little girl down here. Uh, still pretty turbulent looking up there. I think we got a little over three inches of rain in about an hour's time. An hour and a half, two hours. It takes a little while for the rain uh, to bring the river up. We don't know how much we got upriver. Uh, I think it was a heck of a lot more we got here because on the radar, uh, it was just almost dark, dark red up that way. Uh, here we had some breaks in it. I got up at, I got up at 1.30, it was lightning and thunder and so, so much, I got up to go check it. The wind was blowing like crazy. Rain was going sideways. And it was naturally coming down. Uh, it was blowing water all over the front porch. All out of my pavilion. Had, most of it had water out there also. It was just wet everywhere. All the animals were tucked in. They were all safe. I was in with the goats. He was high and dry. We're just going to go back now and just kind of check see what it's like back here. You can see the water's coming through here and it's dropped a lot. Uh, you can see where it's way up on this, up this way. Uh, bees are still here at this box. Uh, we'll continue to watch that. But as you can see that water, it was all the way over, almost the green uh, switch cane. All that was underwater this morning. It come way up this bank here. It's dropped quite a bit. That means the river will come up. It's going to be that way all the way up. All the way upstream. Bees are real active here today too. It's good. It's a real, real good sign. Uh, Dana and, and David came by and visited for a while this morning. We enjoyed their visit. It's so wet, I couldn't come back here. Water's dropping down now, but it's too wet then. I ain't got nothing for y'all with me right now. So don't even come over here mooching. It ain't gonna happen. No mooching. Oh boy. <laughs> I gotta deal with this now. That little girl. Hey, sweet girl. Oh, Mosey. I don't know which side on name for you. Eyebrows. <laughs> little browsy. Yeah, browsy. <laughs> yeah, I think we fixed to get another another surge of wind and rain. Wanted to come down here, 
Dana and David this morning. But that storm come through and left water everywhere. And it's fixed to start raining again, I, I think. Well, look at that wind blowing. Look at that wind blowing out here. All of a sudden, we better go, boys. Girls. What y'all think? Time to go. Go, go. Maybe a storm coming. <laughs> what do you think, Browsy? Go check her out. Woody, it's okay. Uh-uh. No, no. Learn to love them. Come on, check her. Check her Woody out. That little goat ain't scared of Woody. You ain't got to be scared of Woody. She wants to come check this goat out. I want to see that goat, Papa. I want to see that goat. She don't know she's a goat. Her name is, I, well, I'm not even going to say it. I call her, I call her Bootsy, but uh, she comes to baby because that's all Coda Barrel call her. She will not call her anything but baby. Come on, baby, and baby takes off with her. Oh, Papa, I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded by these people. <laughs> we said, I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid of nothing, Papa. Well, maybe I am. Maybe I am a little bit. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go. Let's fix the right again. How much I love you. <laughs> Sunshine away. <laughs> you little bad goat, you little bad goat, baby. Yeah, baby. Uh, I don't know about that baby stuff. What? What are you thinking, Woody? Woody? What is it? I'm glad we didn't bring Coda Bear. She'd be saying, cow poop. Cow poop, Papa. Cow poop. <laughs> yeah. Got a chair knocked over today. Uh, when you see one chair, it could just be one of those calves. Yeah, Mosey likes to push chairs around. We watched her the other day. But when you find chairs, table, and everything down, well, I guarantee you, yeah, I was not back here. It's Moses. I've seen him do it. I don't know why they did. They said they don't like to see chairs and stuff setting up. They just knock them over. <laughs> Maybe just for the heck of it. I really enjoyed my visit with Dana and David. Uh, David was a pilot. Just retired a few years ago. And uh, military. Air Force. Uh I think it's pretty unique, you know, fly all that stuff. But anyway, uh, sitting and comparing stories but it was so much fun. Uh, they grew up basically about the same way we all grew up, you know. Just, uh, they're not, hang on, it's probably spam, probably my granddaughter. Well, we talked on. about... Uh, and some of you folks older may remember this kind of stuff. Her grandparents uh, didn't let grass grow in their yard. If grass caught in their yard, they hold it and even sweep their yards. And, and I said, my grandparents did the very same thing. Uh, I don't, we didn't do that at our house. We had some type of mower. I don't remember what kind it may have been. Maybe one of those push mowers that, that deals. But my grandparents didn't want no grass in their yard. 
they would just a little sprig of grass, dig up that hoe it, rake the yards, rake the dirt, sweep the dirt. I love walking in that dirt in the summertime, barefoot in that dust up from your toes. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, I love talking to people that have them kind of stories. You know, I just, they can, I can relate. A lot of the younger folks like hearing them, but they can't really relate with what I'm, I'm telling them. I mean, they may understand, they may understand what I'm telling them, but they, they haven't witnessed it or, or experienced it yeah yeah uh, the river the river's coming up you can see uh it's muddy it does that when it's coming up water coming from everywhere how much it comes up i'm not for sure uh i don't know if it'll it may come out of banks to these low places i don't think it's going to flood the whole area but it may come out in the low areas We'll be watching it. Keep up with it. Hello, girl. Woody, stop. Woody, come on. Come on. Up here. Come on. Let's go. I'll leave you. You won't leave me, Papa. <laughs> you won't leave me. I'll threaten her anyway. I'll threaten her anyway. Time it looked like and the wind started blowing a little bit of rain, but not much. Now it's cleared up again. See those little goats way down there between them two trees? 
That's Sophie's babies. There's Sophie on this side of the tree over here. There's that little creek, a little bit of water between them. Now they crossed it and went over with Sophie with all the other goats. And then when all the other goats come back, Sophie included, those two decided they couldn't cross that water. It's uh, too deep, Papa, it's too deep. Well, it's not too deep. And you can see Sophie walking around down. You can see her back off the bottom of the hill. She keeps grazing, thinking they'll come across to her. And I'm hoping they will by night, by dark. If not, I'll just go down and catch them and bring them up here. Because I don't want her going over and staying with them on the other side of the creek. And sit up here in her house. So we're just going to be watching her grazing along. Here she's coming up the hill now. Uh... Hopefully she'll lure them on across. All the other little goats come up. Those two got there and they said, oh, it's too deep, mom, it's too deep. Well, they went across it going down there. I came out yesterday evening and put potting soil in these holes. And then I dropped my seeds, uh, straight eight cucumber seeds in, and more potting soil on top. And then we got that good rain last night. So they ought to come up. Now someone says, oh, you cannot use that mulch. They won't grow that mulch. They're not growing in this mulch at all. This mulch is just kind of a weed barrier. They're growing out of potting soil and regular soil. Uh, I'm not planting them in this in the mulch. Mulch is just a weed barrier. Okay? Right. I'm going to come out later today and try to dig some holes in here, just some holes, and put my squash, just kind of checkerboard them out in this area here. That hay will act as a weed barrier there also. This hay is about three or four inches thick. That's, that's my plan. Uh, my little garden out there raised, uh, raised beds at the sanctuary is looking good. I haven't been down there today. I'm, I don't think that rain beat it down too much. I haven't been down, I'm gonna drive down in a minute and check it. I've got my cucumbers planted out here. And I've dug, I've dug 10 holes for uh, squash, yellow neck squash I'm going to plant probably tomorrow sometimes. And I don't know if I'll put any like I was think, thinking about over on this, on this uh, area here or not. I may. But I put 10 here and I'm going to bring more mulch in and put on this side of it and I pull that mulch to each other. They're not growing from the mulch. Yeah, the mulch is just a weed barrier. Yeah, I may, I do, after I move, I'm not going to dig any over here until I get the mulch brought in and scattered because I, I don't want to be driving across it. And then if I decide, I'll, I may put a few out here. I was going to just check and board them around, but I thought, yeah, I'll put one more row. I'll put one good straight row. And uh, using that mulch on that side, for the weed barrier on that side, I'll put another row of mulch on this side and I'll combine them all together. And that'll keep the weeds out. All this other stuff I can mow. I can mow it. Not a problem. Very sad, but you already eat. Guys, yeah, I'm gonna close this video off. Uh, We'll be checking the river. I'm not worried about tonight. We'll check it tomorrow morning early, see how it's done. And if it's come up substantial, I'll uh, make a video of it. We'll get this one out to you uh, tonight if I can, if, it's, if I have time. If not, if it's not too late, I'll get it out to you tomorrow night. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, just some stuff we did today basically after the storm and the storm wasn't severe here as it is north of us so i hope you enjoy it hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit the like button and share with a friend we'll catch you guys later